So today I'm going to show you how to rekey a doorknob lock. And for this you will need a rekeying kit. This one happens to be a Primeline kit I got off of Amazon. They're $13 or $14. And then you need to buy the one that is specific to your lock. So this is a quick set lock. And this kit gives you uh, the new pins you need to rekey it, uh, this follower, a removal tool, tweezers, and of course a set of new keys. This one came with three new keys. And for the doorknob rekeying, I suggest using a screwdriver to do it. So here's the doorknob off of the door. Uh, once you get it off, you'll have this part with the lock in it, and we need to remove this spindle in the center here. So the way I do that is to uh, twist this spindle so that this little square lines up here. It's kind of, you're kind of centering it there. Okay, so once that is centered there, you can go ahead and remove this. So to remove it, uh, you can take the screwdriver, or even I've seen it done with the tool also. Anything you can fit in here. So once you get that screwdriver in there, you can twist it, and that will release the spindle. So now that's free. So now you need to be able to push this lock cylinder or this housing out of the knob. And to do that you'll take uh, this side of the tool and you'll have to wedge it down in there. There's some springed metal and stuff in there that you have to get past. Once you get past that though and that's in there, you can actually push this housing out. So now we need to get the cylinder out of the housing. And for that, uh, you'll use this side of the tool again. And there's a little clip on the end of that lock. Uh, you can see that little black clip there. You need to take this tool and push that off. So now it's released and I can actually just pull that pin or that clip right out of there. And you want to be careful here. You don't want the cylinder to fall out so I just hold on to it. Make sure it doesn't fall out. Then you need the original key to do this. I have here and just insert it into the barrel. And then you want to take this follower and get that on the end of the of the barrel. Okay. And then you want to keep some pressure on the end of this as you're doing this, but you'll turn the key. I turn it 45 degrees and push this follower in keeping pressure on both sides. Now the barrel is out and you'll see in here here's the little pins that we need to to, re, to redo. So now we'll just dump these pins if they'll come out. There we go. So there's the old pins. And here's the new pins. Now the kit comes with an, a different colored pins and it tells you which ones go where. So now it's just a matter of getting these pins into the correct holes on this barrel. 
and I have them laid out in order already. It can be a little difficult to work with. Now when I insert this key, all of these little pins should line up flush with the top of this barrel. And you see, it certainly does. So now, we need to reverse the operation. And so, with this plug follower here, you want to keep constant pressure on this, on both sides, so that you don't end up breaking the lock. If you do that, you have there's a whole procedure you have to take off the top here and there's a bunch of springs and stuff. So it's best just to get this <laughs> and keep keep pressure on both sides. So the lock is turned 45 degrees and I'm just going to push this back in. Okay. Now, you don't want this barrel to come out again, so before it does, you want to get this clip back on here. And actually, before that, you'll need to turn the key upright. There we go. And then now I can get this. clip back on here. So now that the clip's back on, you can, the barrel will not come out, and now this lock is rekeyed. So now I just got to reverse all of those steps, uh, putting the housing back into the knob. Now you'll have, you may have to check the configuration in your door to see which way this goes, but I know on this one that this is the top of the knob and that's how I'm going to position this lock. Okay. So now you can put your spindle in, back in, the way it came out. that back in the door and you have a new lock. Well I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Workshop and Home. We'll see you next time.